Hello, I'm Max Bellic Day. And I'm George Clark, and welcome to the Useless Hotline. Hey! TikTok wasn't working out for us. <laughs> Jokes, it still is. Hey. We're huge. Deal yeah. with it, pussies. Bitch. So we decided <laughs> to set up our own little business. <laughs> yes, we did. And the Useless Hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, disgusting. <gasps> Nearly ran out of breath then. Oh, no. Or embarrassing they are. Oh, that was embarrassing. Ah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. You better ride into the yeah. useless hotline where we may be joined by a guest, but we're not. No. But who needs a guest? Yeah, we had a great guest one last two? week. Guest oh. who? None of us do. <gasps> Maybe we do sometimes. The last yeah. one was good. Yeah, it was very good. Um, This episode is going to be a little bit different. Number one, because as you know, every month, once a month, each of us alternatively Get take... Get a period. Oh, yes, we do. Um, but then we also alternate taking Whoa. over an episode. And I hate the cramps. This week is... Shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. This week is mine, and that's all going to be coming soon. Um, but we've got, got a heavy flow. I, and I I'm not just indeed. talking about his rapping. Yep. <laughs> and a wide set vagina. Ooh, I definitely do. Nice. That's me. Mean, mean girls. girls reference. Yep, here yeah. we are. Um, but you this go, Glenn, go, week go. is going to be different for another reason, and that reason is... You're that the police okay. are about to come after us. We're about to get arrested. You told oh my them God. <laughs> um, no. We are not doing dilemmas this week, um, unfortunately. Yes. Finally, am I right, guys at home? Oh, we didn't want the dilemmas in the first place. We just came for the sexy men from TikTok. Hell yeah, baby. Um, no, we've had a bit of our, a drought, and our manager, um, who owns the Useless Hotline, yeah. has just t- said to us, do you know what, you guys, you, your voices are so soothing. Yeah. You're so great to look at. The, they this week, the strepsils in a HR. They do. Because our voices are so soothing. Absolutely. Um, and yeah. Maybe it also has something to do with the fact that um, we need some really good ones writing in. Yeah, and you're and all shit at the moment. <laughs> it's not our fault. It's yours, right, idiots. I know. I've met so many of you lot. And at our fucking live show as well. The ones oh, that they were coming yeah. out with in the crowd. Way you too lot, many. Not going to do that anytime soon. No. You, you lot are hilarious and mm. so funny. And <laughs> that's a synonym for hilarious. Are you just giving the feedback that they gave us? Yeah, literally. You yeah. guys are so hilarious and so <laughs> funny. Stop it. Carry and on. I know based on my experience with you that you have great dilemmas hilarious dilemmas Mm. please send them in as a voice note to our instagram the useless hotline pod is it called that or just useless hotline pod i can't remember you'll find it you'll find it yeah um or to our email write them in the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com um because we really really need some good ones and we want some and remember they're all going to be anonymous, so who yeah. actually cares? Some of you say like, "Oh my gosh, please don't don't say my name." We would never say your name, honestly. Like, yeah. I think Holly. Yeah, you keep messaging it in. Some people. We're not going to say your stupid name, right? <laughs> and you don't care if your boyfriend finds out. <laughs> Some people make Instagram accounts just to send us. Mm. I think I'm like I'm not going to go on and be like, Julie from Southampton says a grandma's a slag who found a dildo in a closet or something. That like, was a good one from Julie. Yeah, that was. Cheers, Jules. Uh, but yeah, please, guys, we do not care. We have like a whole team of like 25 people yeah. that go through every single yeah, dilemma. Um, they're really talented. They're very thorough. And you are protected at all costs. So please, right now, if you have a good dilemma, send one in because we need it. But anyway, let's get to the fun part, baby. Yeah. Get your tits out. Ooh. Ooh. Um, what have you been up to, George? Um, oh, oh, I've been. Oh, uh, is that what you've been doing? Yeah, just many a motorboat. Ah. Similar though, I've been getting wet in oh. terms of the boat on the water. You bastard! What boat? The rain is why I've been getting wet. It's been getting rainy. Why did you say boat on the water? Because you were saying motorboat, that which was the link to getting wet in terms of quarry boat, oh. not in terms of. Get him wet, right. like, you dirty boy. Do we th- are, is multi-bolting a thing that, I mean, you, I'm assuming you would know more than me. Is that an actual thing that know, people seen, do? Uh, the way, no, that's mean and nasty, isn't it? <laughs> what? Oh, right. Fuck mm. you. I un- I just understood what no, he that's meant. That's mean. Um, he basically meant that I've grown tits. Anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> for any of those who didn't get that they at home. They could about the arse. Is that a thing that could happen? I, I guess so. I don't know. I wouldn't like to. I think... I just don't get it. I don't see the satisfaction. Where's the enjoyment there? Yeah. It seems more like a thing... Hold fire. It like, seems like raspberries to a baby. Like, it's yeah. made to giggle. Like, you don't... If you were to... It's like a... You bro- wouldn't multiple a baby, so why are we doing it to full-grown no, adults? Mm, Is that I mean, what you're you saying? wouldn't do a lot of things to a baby that you do to a full-grown adult. That's so very that's true. That's a great argument. No, but I would say it's like... Yeah. 
when your raspberry child is there to make them go also to point out you don't always you don't just have to raspberry a child you can just raspberry anybody i've done it to adults hey max look i've told you i'm not gonna give you a raspberry <laughs> But I think it, have it you gives, not done it, it, it to me it before? It gives same vibes of just like you've done it to me before. Like, have I? No, I just wanted to see if you've done like it. I, I, feel, I feel like it's something you, that you probably you gaslit me into thinking <laughs> I actually have done that. <laughs> you went, have I? I, was, I should have just carried on with it. Like, yeah. I was um, about to just go. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think no, of no, what context times. you would have given me a raspberry. I don't know, but, but it just makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Weirdly, it does. Right, so you've just been getting wet. That's all you've been up to. Because uh, I've chased a line bike in. Look at my crotch. <laughs> hey, some people didn't need to be asked. <laughs> oh, God. Look. Oh, yeah. Moist. Yeah, that's going to be Like the viewers at home now, hey? Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, that's weird. Yeah. Does Come anyone want to see my crotch? Didn't think so. Um, but what yeah. else have I been doing? <laughs> just been living life. Posted on the second channel now. Oh, exciting. I'm a real life YouTuber. I've neglected ah. my first channel to make a second channel. <laughs> woo -hoo, Just baby. like all of them. Oh um, my gosh, that's good. Yeah, no well good done. fun. Um, what was Potentially I moving into a new place. Oh soon? yeah, yeah. When's that happening? Well, we were originally going to move into a, a move into a house slash flat. Yeah, the one that you showed me. Yeah. In Have you the, changed? In Shore Ditch. You're yeah. not doing that anymore. But we pulled out because we had a late entry, a little message from Christopher saying, "Do oh. you know what? I kind of want to move in with you guys." Oh. Oh, that's so, so nice. Yeah, me, Arthur, and Chris could potentially be. Oh, that's be... good. When's he doing? Well, is that confirmed or no? Confirmed. Yeah, um, but we haven't found a place yet. Oh, so you're starting from scratch now. Yeah, but we're looking around. We've uh, potentially got a few places to oh, go have a little so viewing good. at. But that'd be fun. Woohoo, baby! Mm. Um, that's exciting. Don't say the area on the internet of where you're moving to, by the way. Okay. I mean, you just did. That was a place of the last. Oh, house. right. Okay. But also. An area of London. You, you never you know. You said numerous times that you used to live in Clapham. Um, I don't live there anymore. And yes, I did. And um, well, that's just because you wanted to. Do you know when yeah. I moved out, I bumped into um a few people like uh, uh, around the time that I was literally moving out. Mm -hmm. I bumped into people in Clapham, and yeah. I was like, "Oh yeah, I've I've left now because I always just didn't want people to know, like to know." And then this girl fully went to me. She went, "Let's be honest. Everyone knew that you lived above Sainsbury's." And she was like, "She was like, everyone knew. Like I've been out, and people just talk about it." <laughs> And I was like, so everyone just knew where I lived this whole time. Oh, you can say it now. Max lived above Sainsbury's. I did Clapham. live above Sainsbury's, the little one. It, it was, was actually I mean, really. If you ever watched, like, what YouTube video was it? Oh, yeah. Where it was just so obvious. Oh, my God, that... yeah. The one where I turned myself into Mickey Mouse yeah. when I got really drunk. And I literally, my own editor had to go to me, Are you sure you want to post this much out there? And, and I was like, Oh, oh just shit, blur yeah. the background then <laughs> yeah. as opposed to go, Oh, we won't use that clip. <laughs> it was and so it's, funny, and it's though. It's just so obvious to <laughs> where you are. It was such hilarious content that I was like, I actually don't mind if I get, like, egged. <laughs> I was like, it's, it's so worth it. But yeah, it was not very, like, good. That's why with our new house, we've been, which is a. Beep, um, nice. We've been very careful about keeping that under wraps. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, everybody. Where's that even come from? I've just had a bit of a sippy. Bit of a sippy. Of what? Do you know what I keep having? Do you know when you do something or say Sex. something? No. No. Right. Um, do you know when you do something or say something and then it haunts you for like years to come? Well, that's your career. You've that's. I mean, yeah, true. But I also did one yesterday with our guests. Well, in, in real time, it was like we filmed the James Buckley episode yesterday. Sorry, guys. Woo, the everything's not real. Everything's fake. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but in the episode where he's like talking about, I can't remember when, when he does his cameos. And I just said, oh, not about when you're wanking. And I just, <laughs> I kept thinking about it afterwards. And I was like, he was such I, a nice I, I, man. He has yeah. kids. He was such like a, a pleasant man. Why did I have to make a joke about him wanking outside his child's school? Funny. He sort of looked at me and was yeah. like, what's he going on about? Oh, <laughs> and it was just one of those moments where I was like, why did I, I, just, why did I choose to I gave say eye that? contact of, I'm so sorry about him. <laughs> <Yeah>, literally. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh awful times um uh, but hey ho. other things that have happened well i've actually seen you since this but we never spoke about it so we went to soho farmhouse yep. together which if you don't know what that is guys that means you're a loser because you're nfi not flipping invited nice. um no it's a really cool place isn't it had you ever been before no no so if you don't know what soho house is explain it to them george uh it's basically like any other pub ever but everybody turns their nose up at you when they see you. <laughs> yeah. So it's a members-only club. 
that's in London. Everyone goes, wait, can't take any pictures because, oh my God. <laughs> like, grow up, mate. Honestly, when you go in there, it's like, oh, this is what everyone's been like. Yeah. It's like the, it's like the box. Everyone's yes. like, yeah. Everyone's like, oh my God, it's so secretive and there's so much cool mm. things going on. It's like, no, it's not. It's mm. just like a normal place yeah. where everyone. Because yeah, you everyone were there like, that time when Lizzo and Harry Styles were there, weren't you? Yeah. But even that, that was so cool. But like, even that, I think when you're in a moment like that, and you've heard so much about the elusiveness. When you're actually in it, you just think like, oh, it's like life is just a I bit normal. I actively would much prefer to just go to like a Weatherspoons. Yeah, you really didn't like the box, did you? <laughs> yeah. Baby. Even, even less so than, oh, than Max. And that's hey, saying oh, something, Because oh, 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 hey. <laughs> they're famously homosexual. Yeah, there we go. But, um, um, yeah, but the, the Soho House, so it's like a members only thing. It started in London and it's, then it's, it's like all a, over the place. It's better than an average pub. Yeah, it, oh, it is. But, it's, it's nice, but, it's, but it's, you pay a membership as well. Yeah, and, pay, then, and then when you go there, you have to pay for, for drinks. Everything. It's like, what's, uh, that being said, uh, I potentially may be getting one soon just to use the gym. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? But that's because You're I'll so be using the gym. But have you got membership? No. Have you not? No, I had it for like two months and I never yeah, used it. And I was like, I don't you. want it. Ooh, little McBlady getting a membership, not using it. It lit. I was just like, well, burns a hole in this man's well because I, I, I just didn't. I, I think if you live near one, if yeah. you were to use if it I, for the gym, so worth it. So when, it. when we said we were going to be moving to Shoreditch, I was like, oh, I'll get a Shoreditch house one and just use it for the gym. Oh, yes. And then I'll be like, oh, and then I can also. Yeah, just use it. Like, That's it's like such a, sort a good of double idea. whammy. But yeah, I wish that I had one, so, but only like every now and again, like in this off, like really common chance where I'm like at a movie premiere <laughs> and everyone goes out for drinks afterwards and they're like, where should we go? Soho House. And I have to be one of the people that's like, um, can I use your membership? Because I don't have okay, one. Okay, but that. That's in in your head. You you've created a problem. When have mm. you ever been in a situation where people have been like, "Oh, we need to go to. We're going to go to Soho House," and not had enough people around who have a membership yeah, to be able to get like never. Is, everyone always has one. Yeah, yeah. Because the only people that would even offer it are with other people that probably have a membership. Like I would, if I was with my friends, I would never be like, "Guys, let's go to Soho House," because I know that none of us have a membership. Yeah. Whereas, like, if I'm with like all like the fancy people, then they have one. Whereas if I'm with people with like money and <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, but yeah, so we went there and the night before that was the NTAs. I don't even think that I spoke to you that much about it. There was this clip that went around everywhere on the internet. Did you see it? Of um, me and Chloe Burrows. Like, yeah. So basically, in the clip, it's Chloe Burrows. She must have put it on her Instagram story or something. Mm. I have no idea. And she's like filming this guy who wouldn't let her in to where the after party was for the NTAs. Oh. And then I came over and I was like, oh, like, no, she's with me. Like she can get in because she didn't have a wristband, basically. And and then there was so much like confusion about it online. The next day we go to that Soho farmhouse thing. Yeah. I hadn't even seen that the clip had been circulating on the internet. Everyone was coming up to me like, what's the tea then? Why was Where, Chloe kicked out? How was that even tea? Oh, people were literally oh, like, why God. was Chloe kicked out? Like, was she too drunk that they kicked her out? And I was like, oh my God. So I've, I've never told this story because it, it just seemed ridiculous. I told oh, it to everyone. I'm on then. the bloody edge of my seat. On the edge of your seat, baby. It's about to get real. So we were literally at the NTAs. They came around all the boxes where Chloe was, I was. She wasn't with me, but like I've seen her in another one. Aye. And they must have given out wristbands. But a lot of people that were there like fluttered between the boxes. I hope, I hope. Uh, hey, I bet you wish you could do that, don't you, George? What, hey! Whatever dream, what, hey. Yeah, the, um, uh, all right. Oh, that's, uh, so oh, a lot right. of people just do that to socialize. So I was mostly doing that. Like I was going yeah. to see like, you know, cheeky little finger of Charlie Marlowe over here, like then go hmm. like give Lisa Bags a little kiss on the cheek, like stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, just um, the usual. Just the usual. And um, basically we must have missed when they gave the wristbands out and so did loads of other people. So then it came to the point of the after party and you were not allowed in unless you had a wristband. This one woman gave me one um, mm -hmm. because she said, you're well fit. Here's a wristband. No, she just knew no, me uh, like, from TikTok and yeah. she was like, I'll give it to you. But then like loads of people didn't get them. Um, Those are like less famous people didn't get them. No, 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 no. idea who they people were. People way more famous than me <laughs> didn't get them. So I got recognized, obviously. Of but course loads I did. of people came up behind me and they were, <laughs> and they were like, sort of, you know, like so they only, only the couple million followers. And people had no idea yeah, who they losers, were. Yeah, the losers, like nobody knows them. Like Anastasia, Saffron, nobody's ever heard of those people ever in their life. Chloe Burrows, like what is Love Island? I've never heard of it. Uh, no, like lots of people way more like important than me didn't get them as well. So then, shut up. Um, so <laughs> then, <laughs> so much more important than I am. Shut the fuck up. So then, we like get to the entrance and they're like, no, this guy told Chloe, if you go outside, 
there's a guy who's giving out wristbands. I'm pretty sure that this person was just trying to get Chloe to leave the NTAs. No idea That's why. That's understandable. Because when, as soon as you stepped out of the L2, there was a crowd of paparazzi and like fans waiting for pictures. So Chloe, absolutely hilarious moment. Obviously Chloe, like who else would do this? Obviously only Chloe would, like while she's had a drink, walks out with her shoes in her hand, like wristband guy, wristband guy, like where's the wristband guy? <laughs> then realizes that she's basically been lied to and everyone's watching this happen and then she tries to get back in and the guy's like you don't have a wristband you're not allowed physically into the l2 anymore even though he just watched her like walk two steps out yeah so then everyone was just watching her like get basically told off by this guy and i was like is no one gonna go and help her i was like she's like the paparazzi were like taking pictures i was like we're gonna wake up and it's gonna be like chloe burrows kicked out of ntas so i went over and i was like oh no she's with me like it's fine she's like she's got a wristband um and that was it and then they let her in well they let well even though they saw her leave the place and then mm. oh, I, they didn't let her into the so after party like, to my knowledge i don't like know security, like, oh it was it was ridiculous so weird yeah it man. was so but then like the the next morning it was like chloe burrows booted out of ntas and then everyone was saying i was on drugs as well How people were like i have no idea they must have seen me like shooting up in the back um <laughs> 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 what does shooting up mean what do you shoot up That's Heroin. heroin yeah oh my god yes they saw me shooting back? up in the back i don't know why i always just put it in my back yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah heroin time <laughs> there's an easy to access vein i'll just pop it in there <laughs> oh no i didn't do that but yeah wild times yeah and then we went to soho farmhouse that was such a wild trip because oh it was so ho wild it, oh, 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 baby. <laughs> everybody in the audience then yeah, just went wild they did they really did um i remember there was one point in the night do you remember when we all ended up in that girl's hotel room bless oh, her she was from the, she was from love island like most nights <laughs> end up do you know what she was called i've completely forgotten i think she was called ella she was so sweet mm. i didn't watch this season but i i've i'd heard that she was like really lovely did she win it? Maybe she won it. God, I, I have no idea. Honestly. But anyway, we were in her hotel room because basically the like festivities ended at around, what was it, like 12 or something? Something like that, yeah. We all went. And then things got really weird. I just remember at one point yeah. being like, this is weird. That's why I, I sort of, I did an Irish exit. Yeah. And I, 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 went, I mean, good boy, no. <laughs> and ran out. No, I, <laughs> I, I uh, slowly just backed out and yeah. just walked off because I was into like, into a this pot is... of Guinness. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it uh, was like. I saw a pot of gold and I thought, that's that's got my name on yeah, it. Yeah. I remember, we, well, there was like 30 of us in this room. Mm. Bear in mind, so the bar closed, like Soho bar closed yeah. and everything. And then they were like, oh, but like, let's just go back to someone's room. Like, we all had alcohol individually in our rooms. Of course we did. So everyone was like, yeah, what we'll do is we'll all go to our rooms, get a bit of alcohol, then bring it to her room so it doesn't all get charged to her room. Yeah. We all literally, <laughs> do you know, Yayan yeah. was making me die, like literally making me piss myself because he was like, oh, no, I don't give a fuck, babe. Don't know what accent that was. No, that was, that I was tried pretty much bang on. You babe. didn't even have to no, say the he's, name. Well, no, he's, well, he's Welsh, isn't he? I can't do it anyway. No, go on again. You got it. Oh, I can't. You? No, I'm not doing it. I'm not ben doing it. Ben, I'm ho Ben, I'm But um, basically, he was literally just <laughs> popping bottles in her room, like all under her name. Wow. He was like, every two seconds, I'd look over and he'd go, anyone want some more champagne? And I was like, are you paying for this? Because like, this poor girl is like, but it was yeah. making me die. Um, and then we we started playing like games. Yeah, this and was remember, when I was like, this is this is a bit it weird. It was now. weird. It was literally like, right, we're gonna like go around, and then someone has to play. Was playing twenty one. Yeah, like twenty one and like truth. And I remember that they twenty one. Can you do some for me? Yeah, <laughs> stop playing that stupid <laughs> game. And they made we're, we're all like, like, like the youngest there was like twenty. Yeah, like even yeah, that George. that's too old. Yeah, it was it was bizarre. Like picture. Like twenty influencers, like Love Islanders, in one room, all paying like <laughs> truth or dare, and you would think that that would be like the most risque thing ever. But it was literally oh, just like so kiss weird. the person on the cheek who you fancy the most, and it was like so oh, odd. It was really weird. weird. And it, I look back in the morning, and I was like, what the fuck was going on there? Like that was so weird. But, but we had a fun man, time. You insisted on staying until Oh, like I was there till like 4 a.m., literally. <laughs> oh, I, I had a ball. I had literally a ball. Some people were there up to like half six. Odd. Wild. Um, but yeah, great time. What else? I went to Rome. Wow. Pizza pasta. It's a me, Mario. Oh, now I'm aware of what Rome yes, means. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for. Have you ever been? Uh, no, but I often think about the Roman Empire. <gasps> 
what is that trend that is wild i mean Very by the time old, that yeah. this comes out it's probably been and gone but mm. that is just mental like andrew literally asked me in front of the roman coliseum <laughs> and i was like and I, I'd, I'd seen the only person whose video I'd seen of it was Amber and Casper because she asked Casper. Yeah. But I didn't know that it was a trend and I didn't really understand that. I just assumed because like they have like their own like little niche interest that maybe it was going to yeah. be something to do with them or whatever. And then I was, I remember thinking like, why the fuck is he asking me this? Like, what, what even is that? And we'd just been that day on a tour around the Coliseum. <laughs> full like three hour long tour about the Roman Empire. And I was like, fully like, no, I don't ever think about it. <laughs> and I was like, what is wrong with me? Like, why didn't I think? But it is wild. I, I fairly often think about it. That is just meant, I cannot express to you how little I think about the Roman Empire. Like, for example, the, <laughs> the, other, the other day I saw uh, concrete in the road that had, a, that had a pothole and underneath was cobbled road. And I was mm. like, damn, the Romans really had it all thought out with making those cobbled roads and like, have you, do you know how roads are now? They were just like, yeah, piled they're just on layers on layers yeah, on layers. Yeah, yeah, on layers. Yeah. Like, Romans wouldn't have had potholes. No. Cobbled stone, brother. Oh, and honestly, when I was there, like at the Colosseum, that was the first ever arena ever invented, and it was so good. Mm. I was like, I walked through this little bridge. Imagine little no, like Tay Tay Swift, like. Taylor Swift there. could sell it out. That would yeah. be amazing. Oh my God, Taylor, <laughs> hire out the Colosseum, babe. What are you playing at? <laughs> Come on. I walked through this little bridge and I vividly remember thinking gladiators have walked through this to fight lions and, and I've currently got you. stitch because I'd eaten too much carbonara yeah like I would have died so quickly I always think that when people say like explain this to a Victorian kid if I was alive during the Victorian ages I would have died of like hay fever mm. definitely they would have like burnt me because they thought I was a witch I can imagine you as being like a little street urchin same <laughs> Like <laughs> sit on the cheeks. Yes, yes. Very like, please, sir. Can I have some yeah, more? Yeah, Oliver Twist vibes. Yeah, like his best mate who didn't get the press. No, no, no. But not skinny though. Hmm. Yeah. In fact, maybe. Shut. No, I don't I know where I was going. With I wouldn't that. endorse that. No, no. no as I a won't diet do. technique, no, just I, turning it to a street urchin. No, I won't endorse that. But um, yeah, it was it was a great trip. Ended up. Oh my gosh. So I told you, didn't I, about when we went to Paris and we ended up in this like weird sex club. Of course, well, of course, you always end up in a sex club. Did in Rome as well. No way. What? Max Belegdi ended I up in a sex God. club. Right. So I swear that these like European cities just they don't have as many rules. Like that would this would not exist just in London. Up we are a European city. Oh shit! Yeah, but like outside of London. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, because literally. Sorry, you American. <laughs> I like went to Europe, and I swear they have like completely different rules over there. Oh, it, yeah, yeah. That oh, so if you're me. American, it's quite saying I went to Europe. I know, they, but they say like I've been to London and then to Europe, like the two. I mean, I just did the same thing. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, but went to like nice like bars and stuff. Nothing too fancy there because it's like old and like Romanish. Shockingly, what's not fancy about Rome? It's not that fancy. It's more like a, a nice place to go. I wouldn't say it's a fancy place to go, really. Mm. Um, but yeah, we googled like, are there any like gay bars or anything? Because we just it was one night and we were like, oh, we just want to have like a bit of a dance, like see what happens, yeah. like have a few drinks. So we'd like fully scheduled. We we're gonna go for a meal, and then we went to this one gay bar that yeah. was so tiny, and it was like on this street, like near the Colosseum. So it was quite nice, and they were playing exclusively Glee music and i was like this is my place but it was more like a sit down bar like it wasn't like you're telling me a gay bar was playing glee mm -hmm. oh, i don't believe it for a second it Max. was it was and it was amazing but it was more like right you just sit there and like have a drink like nobody was dancing yeah. so then we googled like gay bars for like dancing and there was one that opened at 11 and i was like the club opens at 11 like that must be that's crazy. crazy they must yeah. be dancing all night long literally that's what we thought yeah. get there there's a queue outside. We're like, oh my God, there's already a queue. It's about to open and there's already a queue. That's a good sign. Mm. Get to the door and then they're like letting people one in at a time. And I was like, why are they letting people one, one in at in a time? One out. Well, that's, that's what we were thinking. That's usually your motto. Yeah, that's what we we're thinking. Like, oh, it must Get be Come on, boys, line up. One in, one out. Literally. <laughs> and then get there. There's this like glass window and this guy's like, have you been here before? And we're like, no, no. He said it not. like that, did he? Yeah, if you, he said, have you been oh, here before? Oh, been here before, have you? <laughs> <laughs> he did not say it like that. Um, Up in, in, you know, when in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> when in Rome, babe. And then he was like, oh, you need a membership. So we were like, okay, then we have to buy a membership. And Can then- Can you please try and do it in his accent? 
You have membership. membership. Okay, you're doing your own again. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he was like, do you have a membership? And we said no, obviously. Yeah. And then he made us buy a membership. And then I started to see like pulses and stuff like behind him and stuff that were very sexual. And that's when he said like, oh, it's because it is a cruising bar. And then I was like, cruising? Why do I remember that word? And I remember that I learned about cruising because people would cruise in tube station toilets, which basically means just hang around there and like have sex with strangers. So me and Andrew go into this what's, bar. What's cruising about that? Cruise, I don't, I think there's like two meanings, like cruising in a car, but then cruising is like a, a, a term for like, oh, I'm going to hang around and like see if someone wants to have sex with me. Like basically what you've been doing your entire life. You, yeah, uh, you at any party. Still cruising, guys. <laughs> you at any party. Anybody want to hop aboard, get a ticket. <laughs> Still cruising. Um, and then we walk in. Everybody looks at me and Andrew, like everyone. Bear in mind, it's like that mostly. happens in any bar that you go in. Yeah, it does. It really does. Bear in mind, it's mostly like 50 year old men. Yeah. I've never been more uncomfortable in my entire life. Well, you must have been like a piece of candy to them. Oh, man. yeah. But bear in mind, we just paid 40 a euros big old each. piece of candy. <laughs> Oh my god. A big old piece of mm, fudge. I'll have that gob stopper, please. <laughs> Aww. Uh, um, we, we got told that we got a free drink, though, because we paid 40 quid entry, including the buying the membership. But you so, get a free drink, Max. So yeah, you know. so we were literally like, this is hell, but we get a free drink, so we're going to have the free drink. Yeah. We sat down. It was just people eyeing each other up. It was so uncomfortable. There was porn on the walls. Nice. And we were Where like... Where is this place? I'll give you the address later. Thank you. Um, it was just very creepy. And downstairs was like steam rooms and stuff. It, like Places like that are just wild. Why do you always end up in these places? Because I just think a lot of like places... I can places, tell you, for, I, I've never ended up in one of these places. I think it's because I'm gay. And a lot of like in European uh, countries... Hello! <laughs> <laughs> no. In places like... I mean, the only place I've been to them are like France and Rome. But I did go to that one in London. But that was like with my ex-boyfriend. And it's also not a European city. Thing. Yeah, so true. It's not a European city. Um, but yeah, I think we just like Google like gay play, like party clubs or whatever... And those must just gay like, places to go. <laughs> those must just like fall under that category. I don't know, but I was very traumatized. Where to go to be gay? Yeah, literally. And then we went somewhere next door, um, and that was like okay. I met somebody who was a follower who was Italian, and I was like, how a does follower my, in terms of, well, of, of one me. of yours or in terms yes. of like ancient sort of oh, Jesus. one of Jesus's disciples? Yeah. Yes, I met him. Peter, call me back, baby. I met a Roman follower. Um. But yes, what else? What else? That's about it. That's all I've been. I've been up to quite a lot, but that's about it. I've mm. covered all the bases. Anything else that's happening in your life? Or uh, We're off to Milan, where we would have been by the time this has come out. Are you going as well? Did you not know this? No. I, 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 only I literally said, when you when you said, I, I was like, oh, are you going to Milan? You were like, yeah. And I was like, oh, same. I didn't think, really? it, was, didn't think it was a bit of an underwhelming reaction. I didn't really. I thought you, I, I only registered that as like our last trip when we went to Milan. I didn't know that you were going. You're going, going to Milan? Yeah. I've also been to Is Milan. Is that what I said? I said, yeah. You thought, yeah. I, didn't, I don't even remember you asking. Was that today? No. Oh, yes. Yesterday. I do not remember you asking at all You're yesterday. probably too worried about telling Me, James you were going to wake yeah, him up. True. Or yeah, true. Yeah, true. Whatever I said. Oh, my <laughs> God. I'm, now I'm upset again. Oh, that's going to be so good. That'll be good. Yeah. It's going to be a fun I trip. Literally then, I literally said before we started, I was like, I oh, we can make some TikToks together in Milan. I thought you were just referencing our old trip. I didn't. I don't know oh, why that's how I, I didn't speak think. about the past. I, I, no I idea. tend to speak about the past like it's the future. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy kid! Oh God, I can't wait to be born. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Um, right, okay. So I feel like we've covered all the bases. Um, shall we get into Max's episode? Oh. What were you going to say? Oh, shut up. Get into um, Max's episode. Right, so okay. I need you to close your eyes and turn around. Oh, this is exactly how I was hoping <laughs> it would go. This is what Max gets up to, Did baby. The trousers go down now. Or? Yeah, yeah, please. Right, okay. I'm just going to take this beautiful hat off. Get into <clears throat> something comfortable. <clears throat> Don't make fun of my hair, everybody, by the way. Okay. Whoa, I know what, it looks what, dreadful. What have you just got I out? I just got my pubes out. Um, <laughs> Oh my god, I can only hey, imagine. Hey, don't make <laughs> I can only imagine that my hair looks so bad. I booked right in a Brazilian <laughs> for Monday. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Right, one sec. Oh my god. Oh, why is it wet? Oh god, I realised that I'm painting. Just... Don't look, don't look! I'm, not, I'm closing my eyes. Don't look! I just thought of a really good joke, Max. What? Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, what What data provider you are you with at the moment? All two. Um, well, uh, how was that when you uh, went to 
when you went to Italy, did you make sure you took it off Data Roman? <laughs> guys, Data Roman, guys. Andrew literally had to do a guys. brand deal for um, a form provider, and he used that exact joke. He was like, I'm, I'm using my roaming in Rome. Uh, yeah, that's not as good as my one, though, no, is it? No, it's not. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Also, right. his would be Gator Roman. Guys? Hey. Guys, George is anyone? so funny. Oh, my God. Right, keep your eyes closed. Yeah, they're very closed. I don't like now that I've heard you've got... I don't, Max, I don't no, like no, no, you no, being no. near right, me. Right, right, I'm just going to do this. I don't like it, Max. What's happening? Wait. What are you putting on my head? Oh, uh, no, Max, I don't like... Uh, what's that? Stay still, stay still, Or is it like... Still. Is it some weird, like... Is it a Disney episode? Open your eyes! Woo! Oh, God. <laughs> 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 oh. No! Are these like Mickey Mouse ears or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't even know what's on your head. Yeah, Mickey Mouse. Yeah. How, how bad is it that I, as soon as you put this on, I went, oh, it's Disney. <laughs> <laughs> you knew right away. Woohoo! Oh, Do you know this would give me PTSD, what, seeing you in there? I know, I know. Oh, I forgot. Have you got your nightie on? No, but I, I tried to find it. I couldn't find it. That would have been great. Is it in the wash? <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> I wear it quite often. Oh, oh God. Woo! Wow! Didn't like that. Um, Look at you, eh? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it crazy that you've put that top on specially? But if that if that helm <laughs> that little hat wasn't on, you would be in a regular outfit. Oh yeah, I've worn this so many times, just regularly. <laughs> Definitely, I've genuinely worn it so many times. If you can't see, this says Tokyo <clears throat> Disney Resort. I bought it in Tokyo Disneyland when I went with George. Wait, Are you did, ready? Why, why did that ready, take you so long? Think about it. You just got two hats and a I know but toy. it was all wet and I, cu I couldn't get it on it was just a bit crazy um right okay oh my god I'm it was all up. wet did you come here wearing it yes I did I did I got <laughs> oh don't want to get rain. my hair wet <laughs> <Pops>. <laughs> right are you ready George yes for the ultimate Disney quiz yes I Woo! am Max whoa right here is a piece of paper oh wait actually, I'll get this. oh thank you you treat me is that the prize? If you want to write down your answers, that would okay. be much obliged. Um, and we'll we'll like show the people what you wrote after every single one. But yeah. I thought it would be useful for you to write them down. No, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, George. My name is Mickey Mouse. I'm hating this. I just <laughs> I just also wanna um start this by saying Disney have no affiliation to this quiz and would probably like to distance themselves from it. But love you, Disney. <laughs> Hey, sponsor the pod if you feel like it. Probably won't, but love you lots anyway. Um, right, okay. First question. You were just talking about a sex bar before you did this. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Don't, don't listen to him, Disney. I would never do that. Um, so they start off like very Disney related and then they go more into me. <sighs> like everything should, really, if we're being honest. Hey, sounds like Tokyo all over again. <laughs> right, first question. Finish the following lyric to the song Love is an Open Door from frozen <clears throat> it's crazy we finish each other's is it a sentences b sandwiches or three circumcisions <laughs> please tell me you understood what you just said what did i say a sentences b sandwiches or three <laughs> You did, did I? You did A, B, and three. <laughs> did I really? Yeah. <laughs> it's, you're oh. focusing too much on that incredible game show action <laughs> that you accidentally said three. <laughs> I what, didn't even realize What was the I third option? Oh, it's hot in there. She's circumcisions. Circumcisions. Yes. I mean, it's crazy. We finish each other's circumcisions. Yeah. I mean, it does fit. It does fit. Oh, well, it does after the circumcision. Mm. Right, well, um, what's your answer? Break right, your answer. Do I have to write it down? Well, you don't have to, but I just thought some... Well, there's some that you might want paper for. Actually, this is not this one of This doesn't them. seem like one no, I need paper right, for. I'll do a tally. Oh. Um, right, what's your answer, George? I mean, it's crazy. We finish each other's sandwiches. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Right, okay. One. okay. Right, okay. Perfect. Well done. What... In, in the Marvel movies, mm -hmm. what <clears throat> is Tony Stark's robot's name? Tony Stark's robot. I repeat. Which one? In the Marvel movies, the first one. What is Tony Stark's robot's name? Okay. Um, the first one is Jarvis. Mm. Second one is Friday. Ah, okay. I'll give you a bonus point for that information. Just like to let everyone know I am still single, ladies. Hey! Uh, despite... <laughs> well, the record's the rumors. <laughs> <laughs> um, next question. 
What <coughs> is Jarvis named after? Um, Jarvis is named after um, his dad's Klaus. Dad's uh, Winky. Dad's like lab mate. Very close is dad's driver. Mm. Mm. Sorry, George, no, you don't get that one. Don't get something. that one. Mm, don't get that one. Um, in the movie Nemo, mm. world famous lesbian Ellen DeGeneres nice. plays which character? Well, I think she's currently playing the alien from Toy Story. <laughs> <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I completely didn't understand that. <laughs> That was him saying that I look like Ellen DeGeneres. And so many of you on the internet keep saying that I look like Ellen DeGeneres and Philip Schofield. I want to just put it out there. Mm. I'm 24 years old. Why do I look like all these elderly LGBTians? Mm, like Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, I, I don't want to do this anymore. Or Bell End DeGeneres. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. Right, go Bell on. Bell End DeGeneres. <laughs> um, what was the question? Um, which role does Ellen DeGeneres play in Nemo? Uh, I believe... Um, <laughs> uh, Have you watched Nemo? Yeah. What are the characters? Uh, Nemo's a good one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Marvin. Yes. Marlin. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I think I'm naming JLS now. Yeah, Marvin Hughes. Um, <laughs> Aston. <laughs> um... Uh, you got Ross and Rachel. <laughs> right. Um, you've got... Do you know which character Ellen DeGeneres plays? Yes or yes. no? Yes. Go on, what? Dory. Yay! Right, okay. Four <laughs> points, George. Going strong. Going Thanks. strong. Um, next question. Yeah. Where did Mike Wazowski and Sully meet? I repeat. Where did Mike Wazowski and Sully meet? Meet. Mike Wazowski and Sully met at university. Ding, 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 to baby. Be specific, Monsters University. Oh, they did. That is such a good film. And by Monsters University, I don't mean the one that Max went to. <laughs> High five, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Doesn't seem like he finished any of the courses. <laughs> Could be anyone. Did he even go to university? None of us even really I know. I have no idea. Point. Yeah, we really don't. Well done. Well done. Um, next one. What are the names of the seven dwarves? Ooh. This is one that you might need to write down to help you. Um, I'm sure. Warwick right. Davis. Yes. Um, Tick. Uh, host of Tenable. Yes. That's famous. Mm -hmm. the, uh, oh, you, is that, that not a second one? Person. Oh, that's the yeah. same one. Sorry about that. Um, what's his name? Vernon Troyer. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, God. That one from Elf. Yes. The the of he's course. an angry elf. Yep. That one. Mm -hmm. The angry elf. Hugh Grant in Willy Wonka. Mm, not Hugh Grant. Small Grant. Ah, uh, Small Grant. Yeah. Okay, I'll write that down. Thank you. Famously quite small. Yeah. Um, who else is a famous dwarf? Angry. No. Sleepy. Sleepy's one. Yeah. Doc is the one that most people forget. Mm -hmm. What's Doc short for? <laughs> Come on, he's got little legs. Uh, <laughs> doctor. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Grumpy? God. That's yeah. that's the one I was thinking. Happy? No. So you're not happy with those answers? No. Okay, that I'm was the that was the question. Um Horny? <laughs> no, Humpy? but uh Yeah. <laughs> Humpy. <laughs> Get off the ankles, <laughs> Um Snorty. Snorty? Addict. Yeah, no. Hey Snorty. I have um, just realised in this moment Bumpy That I don't know what they are And I didn't write them down <laughs> um, So I'm just going to Google it really quickly um, Bumpy famously can't see Just sort of Bumps into everything uh, <laughs> Sort of more inclusive oh my God. With getting the blind people in Also can be confused with Bumpy Because he reads Braille oh, There is one called Happy Yeah That's such a shit name Well I, I didn't make it up <laughs> Well why have you got that hat on then? That's a, that's Mickey. Mickey? Ah, uh, no. All right. Right. Do you actually not know them? Slippy. Sleepy. I think you've named four. Right. Well, I, I said. Wait. I said. Doc. Sleepy. Grumpy. Happy. Uh, bashful. Yeah. Prancer. No. That's Dancer. A, that's Blitzen. <laughs> no. Um, you've got two more. Rudolph. 
No. Um, like two more. Mm-hmm. Uh, ba- bangy. No. Um, the most famous one, I would argue. Snow White. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> Apple. What was it? Mirror on the wall. Sneezy. Okay. And dopey. Dopey. You missed dopey. He was looking right at me. I'm sorry. I know you were. You had it right in front of you. Right. You don't get that point. I'm sorry. <sighs> um, how many fingers are you holding up? Can you fit? What does Mickey Mouse have? <laughs> how many fingers does he have? <laughs> hey. everywhere and i disguised it well like as i am always looking there anyway uh four yeah oh <laughs> Fine. i'll give you that right this is the last question are we cl- wait it depends if you're clouting the, the thumb as a finger yes i am yeah yeah well it's three fingers and a phone but i'm gonna give you four nice like i always do baby uh, um, next question is the last one in general Disney knowledge round. Okay. okay. General Disney knowledge round. Rank the following Marvel movies <sighs> in terms of when they were released, oldest to newest. Okay. Are you ready? You might want to write yep. them down. Chronological order. Mm-hmm. Iron Man. Yep. Thor. Yep. The Avengers, number one. Yep. Ant Man. Yep. Black Panther. Yep. Avengers Endgame. Yep. And Black Widow. Okay. All you've done is draw a yeah. series of lines. And are you, you, you ready to see how these lines mean something to Show me? Show them to the camera because I'm I've, so this baffled is, right This is now. what I've done. I Go, saw him writing. Uh, do you ready? know what I actually thought you were doing? Can I just show you? Do you know when people do this Superman S? I thought you were going to just draw that <laughs> and then hold it up. Uh, no, that's DC. Right, oh um, yeah, shit. Sure. Iron Man. Yes. Thor. Mm-hmm. Avengers. Mm-hmm. Um... And then you had Black Panther. Wrong. Sorry, I'm going in the way that they're set because I think it goes Ant Man. No, it's, it's Ant Man, Black Panther, Endgame, Black Widow. Yes. Mm. And I've just realised that I told them to you in the correct order. <laughs> I did think that. I was just going down like, oh. <laughs> and I still got it wrong somehow. Oh my god. Yeah, you got one wrong, but st- why did I do that? I don't know. You said Iron Man first, and I was like, "Yeah, okay." And then Thor, and I was like, "Okay." Why did I do that? I should have jumbled them up. Anyway, okay. You got in that first round. One, uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four. You got seven out of eight. Oh bloody hell! That is Woo! a great score. That is a really good score. That is really right. On to the next and final round. Thank God. Disney and Max round. Disney and Max. Can you do a sound effect, please? For like, <laughs> no, like one that's like tense, like, oh, game show tense. Oh. Um, like, do, do, do. Oh. <laughs> no, that's like thinking. I need one that's like, we started the round and. and doom, doom, doom. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay, right. In the infamous TikTok, where Max warned people not to get drunk in Disneyland, otherwise, they would spend a lot of money. How much had Max spent? I don't know. I'm not really... I don't really... I've sort of blocked him. I'm not a big fan of his videos. Um, that's that Northern one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It is. I have three yeah. options for you, by the way. Okay. £300. Mm. £400. £500. See, as a, as a Northern man, I would have thought it would have been in the double digits, but... <laughs> 300, 400, or 500. Wow. Hmm. I swear to God, I'm going to fucking right up. I <clears> think <throat> it's 500 pounds. Ding, 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 baby! You are correct! Thank God. I spent more money that one time in the Disney store because I was plastered out my mind. I nice. didn't know that you could drink in Disney. I was giving it a wee wee in Ratatouille land, swilling Ooh, wine. Like don't having... do a wee wee in Ratatouille No, land. I didn't. I, I got it was in the toilets. Out. No, it, yeah, it was. Um, yeah. But yeah, I was so drunk and I, I had no expectations. I wasn't filming anything. I was literally just like loving life. Nice. They make you go through the most glorious shops in the entire world. I spent more money 
on that than I did on my flights and accommodation for the so trip. You'd, so you'd say after all those drinks and you went for those glorious shops, would you say you were in a glory hole then? I would never say such a thing about Disney. Okay. Um, moving on, moving on. Uh, um, <clears throat> sorry. Next question. Yeah. What is Max's favorite Disney soundtrack? Number one, Encanto. Number mm-hmm. two, Frozen. Or number three, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I believe it's uh, the uh, sound wait, of oh, Belch. Oh, <laughs> number three, Moana. Thank your favourite soundtrack. Um, see, the problem is you are a, you are a basic bitch, so Frozen would make sense. But that it, I, it's. But then I know you like Encanto. Um. But then The Rock is a muscly man. Yes. And you famously love them. I do. Look at my boyfriend. He's fucking built. Um, I'm going to go for... Uh, Max likes... Cock! Ah! Uh, 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 frozen. Uh, frozen. Uh. Final answer. Frozen. Yeah. Eh, eh. It's Moana, isn't it? It's Encanto. it's Encanto. It used to be Moana. Yeah. Well, it was Frozen. Then it was Moana, and now it's Encanto. That's definitely. Such a cop out for put the other answers there. Like you've Am got I? your series of things <laughs> that were your favourite. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Such good. All of them. Such good soundtracks. I'm sorry. Like Moana, unreal. Alessia Cara. I'll have a bit of that. Uh, but then Encanto can't get better. Encanto. I did a brand deal with Spotify where I interviewed Sam Ryder mm-hmm. and we had to guess, it was like long before Spotify Wrapped came out and they'd like gone in and got what mine was. Yeah. And all of it was like Disney and Glee songs in front of the guy who had just won Eurovision. It was so embarrassing. Did he win Eurovision? Yeah, he did, didn't he? Um, but yeah. anyway, yeah, humiliating. Either okay. way, you got it wrong, bitch. Ha ha ha. Damn it. Um, next question. How old was Max when he first went to Disneyland? A, four, B, eight, or C, 12. I think you are a late bloomer. Oh. Uh, just if... You've seen my pubes. No, that's, they're yet to sprout. So oh, that's yeah, why exactly. I'm uh, yeah. in that line of thought. Oh. Um, <laughs> They've yet to sprout. Um, oh, God. I would say, <laughs> I don't think you went there at the age of four. Um, hmm. How could I imagine little chubby Max running around? Eight or two. I'm going to go with 12. Eh, eh. I've been twice. Actually, I've not been twice. That's an absolute lie. <laughs> the first two times that I went, first time, I was four years old. Oh. I went with my dad soon after How my do you parents know? Do you had divorced. I don't at all. Yeah, so we're all going on hearsay. No, 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 not hearsay. Second time, I was 12. So you kind of, no, you got it wrong still, but you got it a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, my parents had just got divorced and I assume my dad was trying to like outdo oh, my mum or something. Were, and he was like, oh, we'll take the kids to He wasn't trying to do anything to your mum. <laughs> yeah, divorced. literally, as far away as possible, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, so he took us to Disneyland nice. and um, I don't remember it at all. And I was too small to go on anything, but I'm sure that I had a great time. Anyway, you got that wrong. Like most of your trips to the, the to the clinic, sex bars, yeah, oh, so that works small too. And nobody wanted to. You couldn't get an. Look, yeah. draw the lines yourself. Yes, I'm not here to I'm have upset. fun. Okay. Next question: The following picture. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's like, it literally looks like a young photo of like Claire Balding or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, by the way, everybody, in case you couldn't tell. Um, the following picture of Max crying on a Disney train was taken, A, immediately after Max ate some Disney chicken nuggets that didn't agree with him, mm-hmm. B, right after Max was mistaken for a girl in front of a group of people by a man working on the train, Ooh. or C, Max was told he was too small to get on a ride. That was the easy one to... Mm. Uh, Andrew often says you're too small yeah. to get on and ride. Yeah, it didn't, um, didn't work. Though, I'm going to go for the second option because you do look ever so much like a female. And even if I'm wrong, <laughs> it's fact that you do look like a little girl. <laughs> wow. Um, firstly, thank you. I've 
very good complexion and um, high cheekbones, so I'll take that as a compliment. And second, yes, you are true. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are true. <laughs> we were getting on this like Disney, like it wasn't a ride. It take take you from like A to B, basically train. like a little train. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it was like a train on wheels that were on the road. Oh, anyway, that's where they tend to be. Yeah, uh, shut up. They're not on the road. Yeah, and we were getting on, and this guy who worked there just went. We were in Florida, and he just went, "Come on up, little missy." And then, oh. and then I like looked around. And he was like, "No, you, you, little miss, come on up." You sure he didn't say sissy? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, <laughs> possibly, actually, yeah. Both work. <laughs> and then my whole family laughed at me, um, and I burst into tears in front of everybody. And then oh. somebody took that picture of me and posted it on Facebook. That's nice. What's Very in the background kind. there? What's my background? Florida. Well, no, I, I was aware the of the country. Park. Oh, just car park. So it took. Oh, it took you from the car park to the park. That makes sense. Right, you got that right, um, and yes. I am triggered. Anyway. Easy peasy, <clears throat> baby. Next question. Yeah. When you, George Clark, yeah, went me. to Disneyland Tokyo yeah. with me, you got me drunk and forced me to buy a nighty that I then wore for the duration of the journey home. Seems like... Seems very sexual, doesn't no, it? Seems, Maybe no, you should I assess. I wasn't going sexual. I was. I was, just I was. It seems like a lie. That, mm. that is not the. How I mean, I that's, that's how I remember it. Anyway, you um, can remember any of it. Which Disney character was on the front of the nighty? Cinderella. Nope. No, it was Ariel. It was, it was Ariel. Ariel. It was. It was. It was. It was. Oh. I am the Little Mermaid, quite frankly. Um, well done. Ding, ding, ding! You got it right, baby. Nice. Next question. Which ride? Did me and you go on the most? Wait, actually, I feel like we should. I think talk. his name was. Uh, <laughs> no, that's. Silly. Wait, I want to go back actually because I want to give like insight into that whole experience. So, because yeah. we just like completely glided past it as if that was a normal sentence to say when it really wasn't. Me and George went to Tokyo. Yeah. We, we now it's been posted to um, promote Amazon Prime Videos new show Takeshi's Castle. Yeah. Which is an amazing and show. And in order to promote Prime Video, we went. To, to Disneyland, Disneyland <laughs> baby. <laughs> Woo! Well, no, they brought us out there. For <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Prime Video, for flying us over to Tokyo. <laughs> Go check out Disney, everyone. <laughs> no, they're both great. Um, we He's, went... But I don't see any Prime Video lands popping up anywhere, so... <laughs> Maybe soon, who knows? <laughs> um, we... Yeah, they brought us out, but only, it was like for two days that the trip was going to be. So we yeah. just extended it on the end and did lots of stuff that we wanted to do. Yeah. In every corner of that hotel room, baby. Oh, yeah. Hell Those yeah. beds were small. M mushed up. They, do you know like that guy that swam around the UK and his, his bodysuit morphed into his skin? That's what we were like with the mattress by the end of it. <laughs> that, only <George> makes, <laughs> that only makes sense because I'll give context. I was saying beforehand that uh, I find Ross Edgley really cool and I, Max had no idea who he was. So I explained him swimming around the UK mm. during which, uh, like, the however many days didn't. His body, his wetsuit sort of morphed into like his skin and like mm. formed like a crusty sort of layer. Oh, uh, and Max has somehow decided to. Like liken that. us staying in a bed in Tokyo <laughs> to that. I wasn't saying we were just staying in that bed, George. We were crusting the the place up. Oh, moving on. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so we went to Disneyland Tokyo. We yeah. went to both of the parks, mm -hmm. and I believe on the last day. Oh wait, no, we did it all in one day, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, we did it Disneyland all in one day. Sea and Disneyland. Yes, just Disneyland. Full stop. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And we went on every single ride. We got like fast passes for so much. We did so much in that day. Oh, so we had fun. so much fun. Oh, it was the best. Um, I was going to also, do you remember that? Um, chicken leg. Ice, oh, the chicken leg. <laughs> oh, George. Right. So in Japan in general, chicken is just not the one. Like it's not the main meat that they eat. They have fish yeah. and like pork. And mm. you, can't, you can't get chicken anywhere. But in Disneyland, they were selling chicken legs. Yeah. You got one. It looked vile. It was like brownie mm. grayish, yeah, wasn't Max it? Max offered me some some of his meat for a TikTok, and yeah. I went, <laughs> "Yes, please." Then he got his chicken leg out oh, and went, mm. "Yeah, not not the uh, one, you're not expected. the tastiest bite it ever." It looked vile. No, I had some really great um, bow buns though. They yeah. had like Mickey Mouse bow buns. I was about to compliment them. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I got that a lot. He's got some nice bow buns, yeah, I does do. Max. It was such a good day. Um, and then towards the end, we started to have these cocktails. Yeah, and I got 
fucked. I was having the best oh, time. I bought this hat. Let me tell you my favourite cocktail. So it all started in a little town called Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> God. Um, no, uh, it was great, though. And it was the cock in there. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I got it, yeah. <clears throat> and then we saw the fireworks. And actually, guys, this is something that George might not want me to tell you. Um, but as we watched the fireworks, George had had a few drinks. He, like, went to grab my hand. And I could hear him, like, kind of, like, sniffling. I look over... And a tear, like a single tear rolled down his cheek. And he went, I'm just so happy to be w- here with you. Like, you're my best friend and oh, I yeah. love you I so was, much. I was holding his hand. A tear went down my cheek and I, he saw, looked at me and went, oh, I just realized you're gay and I touched you. <laughs> no, that was, <laughs> that was a that joke. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. No, no, no crying happened. Yeah, you did. I mean, but I did use the anti-back afterwards. Yeah, you did. You definitely did. But it was so <laughs> good. Just, it was an awful <laughs> joke. So that, awful. That did, just one after the other. didn't happen. No, it didn't. But do you remember that giant sandwich that you had? Oh, wait. I had the one with the weird cheese in it that was like... Yeah. It's like melted cheese in the sandwich. So many crazy things. Tokyo Disney was a wild time. I we spent it. our whole time trying to... Say, 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 say. We weren't doing that. That <laughs> no. would have got us kicked out. Yeah, it would have. We were yeah. spending our <laughs> whole time in Tokyo Disneyland trying to find something... That was like American slash English to eat. Yeah, literally. And we'd walk <laughs> around and we'd be like, oh my God, why are they selling all this food? Yeah. And then we eventually had chicken nuggets, didn't we? And chips and they yeah. were so gross. Like, yeah. oh, but yeah, bao buns are the way forward. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd reminisce a little bit. But anyway, which ride did me and you go on the most at Disneyland Tokyo? Um, which one did we go on the most? We went on one multiple times. Uh, the... What's it called? The oh, Journey to the Center of the Earth. We went on that twice, but we went on another one three times. It wasn't the glider one. We were no, no. that was so fucking funny though. <laughs> that was oh my god, that was so <laughs> funny. Oh my god, guys, so there's <laughs> there's this ride at Disneyland. I think it's called Soarin, or at least it is in America. I don't know what it was called in Japan. Yeah. But you basically just sit there like on a big <laughs> ski lift. And there's a giant like screen in front of you, and it makes you think that you're like flying through the sky. It's the, it's, <laughs> it's it's like a really chilled out sort of yeah. like cool thing where you're just like a light breeze, and you're just mm. like floating through the clouds, like <laughs> birds flying near you and stuff. So it's like nice. really cool. And um, we I thought just it'd be funny screaming. just to go as soon as it, <laughs> as soon as we lifted off, just go. Ah, ah! <laughs> And then we'd had like one drink at this point, so we just kept screaming, didn't we? The whole time we were we just made like, a girl, ah! made a girl jump next to us halfway through. Oh, people, so people started laughing at us because the transitions would be like going through clouds, mm. and we'd go, ah! <laughs> Oh, it was so good. And then we went on a roller coaster, that journey to the center of the earth one. Yeah. And we were just screaming laws on that as well, weren't we? That one time, people were literally looking behind us like, oh my God, like what's happening? And I was like, I'm going to be sick. Oh my God. Like screaming. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones, yes. That oh, was that it. was so good. No, no, no. Oh, the ride that we went on the most, Tower of Terror. Did we go on it three times? Oh, yeah. we did. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Just, yeah. because was... there was like no cues. So we just kept going on oh, it yeah. over and over again. Yeah, no, that was good fun. Yeah, it was great. It was great. Oh, great times, great times. <laughs> that was so fucking funny, honestly, when we were just screaming. <laughs> it was good. It's so the most hilarious. stupid thing. <laughs> and people around us were like giggling because they yeah. thought we were actually like terrified. <laughs> oh, it was so good. Right, and last question of the Disney Max quiz. Mm. How much was Max willing to spend on Disneyland Tokyo tickets when the bank malfunction- malfunctioned whilst trying to buy them? <laughs> Do you remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's A, £3,000, B, £9,000, like or C, £16,000. I think it was £16,000, <laughs> I think. <laughs> it was sixteen grand, was not it? So, right. So, <laughs> so me and George were in Tokyo. We're trying to get Disneyland tickets. It was the most difficult it's, experience. It's really hard to do. So yeah. unnecessarily difficult. Like you couldn't. We were doing it on the internet. It wouldn't let us do it on our phones. So then we tried to do it on the uh, the computer oh in the hotel. Oh my god! I forgot. But the computer at the hotel, you had to have yeah coins. You had to have coins. Which so we, we had to have, then so go and get some coins <laughs> to put in this little thing to like charge up the computer. It was horrible. And then by the time I went to do it, the the bank like Santander or whatever was getting confused when. I would suggest, or not, when I would put forward that I wanted to pay, because it was like 16,000 16, yen. yen. 
<laughs> and it would come up on my bank app when it said like to confirm the purchase, sixteen thousand pounds. So I was like, you, you, so worried. At this point, we? you got to it, and you were just like, "Am I? Is it worth it?" <laughs> <laughs> and, I was, and I was like, "Is it worth having sixteen grand to my, go to like, Disney?" I had saved up my house deposit. I was yeah. like, "Do you know what? We spent two days looking for these tickets. Like, shall we just do it?" <laughs> and I was so close to it because. It was so difficult to get the tickets. I was so close yeah. to just being like, do you know what? I'll I'll just, after we go, I'll just tell the bank that it was fraud and that we never went yeah. and, like, and we'll just go from there. But I was so tempted to it. 16 grand. That's how worn down I was by the process of trying to get tickets. There's our ticket right there. I say, I've got mine at home Yeah. Still. And yeah. um, I, yeah, nearly spent 16 grand <laughs> on the tickets. Um, do not recommend. And they're only 55 quid each. Yeah. But I nearly end up spending 16 grand. Do not recommend at all. <laughs> like, what a wild time. Um, but yeah. Well done, George. Wow. You made it to the end. You got nine out of 16. Mm, I'm happy with that. Yeah. What's, what's the second set? Oh, I did worse on the second set. Yeah, you did. Though. You did far worse than on the second set. But you still did good. You did good. You did all right. I also think I probably added that up wrong. So I'm sure they'll let me know in I, the comments. I would have. I would have wanted to have done better on the second section because he is my <laughs> bay, Max. Hey, hey everyone. Oh, oh God. great oh, fun. God. Do you remember that guy at the podcast live show who had this, but the Baymax version on? Yeah. And everybody who was behind him was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like every now and again, I'd look at him in the crowd and I'd go, Baymax guy, you're pissing everybody and off. And the people around his head going. Yeah, they were literally like, what the fuck do we do? Like, this is so annoying. <laughs> um, but great times, great times. Um, well, George, you, you've done it. You've smashed, you've smashed around. Oh, one last question. What? Fuck, I, I wrote this question down. Yes, please. Um, last question. What did I buy in your YouTube video where you gave me a thousand pounds to spend in Times Square? from the Disney store, what did I buy? As in ha everything? Yeah. You bought uh, Tommy Hilfiger X Disney, Disney jacket. Yes, I did, I did. $400. Yes, I did, you and bought, it was so worth it. Um, you bought a lightsaber for Andrew. Mm -hmm. You bought uh, Thor's hammer. Yes, I did, which and then I, I had to leave that there. Didn't even take home. So annoying. It was so cool as well. I would have loved to have that in my house. It was like a full-on version of, but it didn't fit in my suitcase, and I was yeah. like, I'm not about to walk through with an axe. Like, I'm wondering, <laughs> not Mjolnir. It was Stormbreaker. Yeah, it was Stormbreaker. Um, it was. It was. Uh, <laughs> what else did you get? You got a, a suitcase which was massively overpaid for. That oh was my god, Disney store, I've, I've still been using that, and that was it's so, it's starting to like break. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was massively overpriced. Um, that. Yeah, I was holding it up to see if you got it. You got it. Yeah. Um, like, I think there was one more thing at the Disney store. One more thing. Um, what did you get? Think hard and well about what 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 do people come up to me when they and and say when they meet me? Have you got your? Have you got your Marbles. Disney? No, have you got your Disney blank? Friends. Got your Disney. Have you got your pa, 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 shit together? Pa, 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 pa. Badges. Pa, 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 clothes. Pa, 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 pa. I'm not even going to guess. Pa. I'm just enjoying this. <laughs> pa. Yeah. Got your Disney pin. That's what I said. Badges. The pins. Pins. Yes, yeah. I bought some Disney pins. Mm. I did. I did. Um, great times. Great times were had by all. And then we've got little Minnie Mouse Statue of Liberty. What a ledge. Nice. What a ledge. Right, well, George, that concludes my Disney quiz. I feel like you did really well. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, and I think that I did well, considering that I forgot that it was my episode until about an hour before we did this and <laughs> um, thought on the spot, like, fuck, what can I do? And came up with that entire quiz in an hour. So I'm proud well, of that. That was really good. It was, yeah. And you best believe next time it's my episode, I'm going to put in way more effort and possibly get my tits one. out. We'll see. It's one. Halloween in, like... I say in like two episodes time, we should fully dress up as like, and do a Halloween episode and fully dress up. Yeah. Like I'm gonna, I, I'm, I've I'm, i got plans. Okay, someone's gonna turn up dressed as Alphaba. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, um, that costume is too controversial nowadays. Um, so no, I will not be doing that. Um, but yeah. Oh, that's nice. Does that look like yeah. cute? Like little, little headband boy. Do I look cute? 
Mm, yeah. What if I do this? Mm, not helping your case. Oh, okay. Brilliant. Um, Brian, how, <laughs> what are we doing for time? Are we all right? Good. Oh, nice. brilliant. Right, well, um, as we said, we did not have dilemmas today, so that is the end of our episode. And um, also, uh, as we said, what is... please send them in. <gasps> oh, 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 no. Oh, what? Oh, God. Oh, what? Oh. I was gonna say what is the need, but it's Disney. Wait, you had you said you had something to tell me. What is it? Yeah. No, that was it. That was just moving over, Chris. Oh. Oh. I thought it was like. I mean, that's nice. I yeah. thought it was gonna be like a a big. I don't oh, know. I'm getting penis enlargement. Yeah, surgery. that's what I was hoping for. Yeah, like really big cock. Thank God. Yeah. yeah please. Really, really big one. Have you seen those machines? I saw one in a shop once. Oh, I'm getting one. You literally put it in... Do you know, like, the Kylo Jenner lip challenge? Yeah. You do that, but with your dick. Like, you put it in a giant tube, and it so pump all the air out of it, and the vacuum of it enlarges your penis. But that oh. also sounds like it could fucking explode. I'd love for Kylie Jenner to do a lip challenge with my... No. No. Silly. Yes. Enough Leave her alone. Back. God, Kylie, feel free to come on the pod. I'm sure she's a fan. Um, right. Who do you reckon the most famous person is who's ever watched an episode or listened to a, or seen a clip of the pod? Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I have absolutely no idea. If you are of somewhat relevance, um, even if you've just been in your local paper, comment down below. I actually want to yeah. find the most famous person. I'd say count it, being in your local paper counts you quite high up the list. So um, we are on a mission to find the most famous listener or watcher yeah. of this podcast. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Alan, Alan Carr. Carr. <laughs> well, he was just on it. He was just on it, but I don't know if he listens. Well, he would have seen like he something might have seen to do clips with it. Of it yeah. yeah, yeah, but I'm on about a listener, like a, a person who thoroughly listens to our podcast. Well, there's no one then. There might be. Who knows? If you've Nobody ever been on a TV show, <laughs> if you've ever been on a TV show, if you've ever been on. Um, if you have loads of followers, if you are a movie star, please we'll comment down below. If yeah. not, get out of here, guys. <laughs> oh my God, what if it is somebody really... If you're sat there right now and thinking, oh, do you know what? I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I used to be in a boy band and now I, I've, I've sold out, you know, Wembley Arena a few times yeah. and my name's Harry Styles. Yeah. Then maybe you should comment down below and let or, us know if you listen. What if it was like a, like a Donald Trump? Oh, I would be very shocked, um, to say the least. But do you know what, Donald? Comment down below. A beautiful podcast. Yeah. I think he's a, isn't he in jail? I think he's been arrested. Oh, he's not in jail. Oh, okay. He's been impeached. In which means he's currently he's trapped in a oh, page. No, it's gone downhill <laughs> Right. Well, if you enjoyed this episode, um, and you're famous, comment down below. <laughs> no, if you enjoyed this episode, what should they comment? Um, uh, comment. God, um, I can't believe that... I can't Max believe that was the... even wearing a Disney cock ring. Yeah, maybe don't comment that. Uh, maybe comment. Wow, what did I wonder? What Max and George got up to in that Tokyo hotel room? Mm. Mm. I think the most that we did was like iron our clothes, didn't we? Oh, but we ironed the shit out. Yeah, of Yeah, we did with our with our pendulous balls. We did it. They were Tokyo <laughs> yoing all over the place. Yeah, they were. Mm. Yeah, talk about steamers. What makes them steamers? Like you can steam clothes. Yeah, I'm aware of that part of what you were like saying. Like steamy balls. But why are the balls steamy? I don't know. They may be hot and there's just steam. Anyway, right. um, what should they do if they enjoyed the episode, George? I don't think we need to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you enjoyed and you are watching, make sure to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you're notified that every time we upload, if you're listening, give us a five-star rating, download mm -hmm. us so you can listen to us on the go, do all of that good stuff, comment to see who you want on the pod. Yeah, I was literally... That's a good one. George, oh my God, this is the weirdest thing in the world. I was literally just thinking, as soon as you stop speaking, I'm going to say that. And you said it. We, we never say so that. so in sync. What's the... Okay, say, the f say right. something that's on your mind. Right, three, right. Okay. Three, three two, two, one. one sandwiches. <gasps> that is close. What? Right, okay. Right, right, right. Burger right, right. and sandwich is yeah. actually fucking weirdly Some close. Some would argue that a burger is a sandwich. I would. Yeah. Oh, we actually touched. That's nice. Oh, my God. Go was. Okay. That, was that was weird. Yeah. Burger and sandwich is Very really close. close. Yeah. Of everything that you could possibly think yeah. of on Earth. What the hell? All right, next one. Right, okay. Don't, wait, 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 you're wait, not wait, linking burger yeah, and no, no, sandwich. No, 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 no. Just right, let me think. One. Let me think. Okay. Right. Three, two, two one. one. Gazebo. Ocean. 
now we've mm. lost it. Um, <laughs> right, and if you would like to send in a dilemma, please do so via our Instagram at the useless hotline pod. That is voice notes to our Instagram at the useless hotline pod. And if you would like to send in a written one, please do so to our email, the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com. And if you are currently listening whilst you're on the tube, Look at the person next to the next to you. Give them a little fiddle and say, "George Clark told me to." Maybe they're listening to the pod as well. Who knows? Mm, what's that? Have you seen that new thing with the new iPhone update that you can like just like transfer something? Have you seen that where you like put your phones together and it like transfers? Is that money? Really? Money? Yeah, you can just like tap each other. And, like, really? Uh, is there a way? To, I thought you could do like, oh, listen to this. <laughs> just, <laughs> <Yeah. so> boom. <laughs> That's quite cool. Just throw your phone at someone, see yeah. if the useless hotline sticks. That's a good idea. That really is. Max um, is a sticky boy, so it could happen. I am. I've made a mess. Mm. Oh, my God. And you do have to put plastic oh covering over the seats oh before God. he comes in. Oh, my God. Right. Until next time. Oh, what's that T-shirt that you've got? I mean, until next time. Um, bye, bitches. Peace out, idiots. <laughs> <laughs>